Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, it looks like Leah Remney may be in another court battle with or involving the court and the cult of Scientology. Um, Lisa Marie Presley, who is Elvis Presley's daughter, and at one time went out with Michael Jackson, um, are all involved. It goes to her husband, Lockwood, um, who is an ex-husband in a court battle, um, trying to get custody of his twin daughters, Finley and Harper. Um, now, he's claiming that the contro controversial cult is making it impossible for him to speak or contact her regarding um, him wanting to uh, go into court and um, try to deal with their daughters, the safety of their daughters, because apparently her daughter, Lisa Marie's no, son, sorry, Benjamin, committed suicide. So he's killed himself. And Lisa Marie Presley has a history of drug abuse, substance abuse. So right now he's trying to gain custody. And not only has it been impossible for him to get in touch with her, but there's text messages um, that come from Lisa Marie Presley, making it clear that her ex-husband, Lockwood, is not her equal, that she views them as suppressive because they don't share the same beliefs. And this is all a part of the cult and what, they're, what they prescribe to their members and what their members are told what they need to believe. So as a result, Again, it's just like domestic terrorism. She's not only labeled him and views him as suppressive, but now they've resorted to launching fair game out on him. And fair game is when members of the cult can start stalking you, slandering you, waiting outside your house, infiltrating your life, your contacts, your employment, where you shop, to destroy you. And if you're cocooned, which means you have a ranking in the cult, like John Travolta does or Tom Cruise does, you can go ahead and kill someone. And as a Scientologist, it is your job to sweep it under the carpet. It's your job to pretend it never happened. And if this isn't domestic terrorism, I don't, I don't know what is, folks. So they've launched Fair Game Out on Lockwood um, using private investigations, character assassination, and legal action. Um, and that's normally how they go about it. But they will do everything and anything in between that. Assaults, um, entrapment, they'll try to frame you with something. I mean, it, it goes on and on. There's nothing they won't do to take a suppressive down. I am considered suppressive. Um, and in fact, I've been told I either join or accidents are going to keep on happening. So, um, now Lockwood is making it clear to the course that he wants Remney to be a witness in the case because she was in contact with Lisa Marie Presley as they discussed various topics linked to the famous cult and the ongoing nasty custody battle of his two twin daughters. Um, he said basically this about Remy in the court filings. Um, he intends to examine Leah Remy about the church or the cult of Scientology's practices and beliefs, um, the church, church's or the cult's treatment of those who oppose it and expose it and the technique of fair game, um, or being fair gamed, em employed and launched on and executed 
carried out, ordered out by Scientologists in conjunction to the sexual abuse allegations made by Lisa Marie Presley herself against Lockwood, her ex-husband, finally Miss, as communicated to Remy by Lisa Marie Presley. So according to this article, it's not known how Lisa Marie Presley's ex became aware of these alleged private discussions between Leah Remney and the mother of his children, Lisa Marie Presley. As we know, uh, Leah has been a crusader um, against the cult. Um, and Lockwood is, you know, again, concerned about his twin daughters because Benjamin, Lisa Marie's son, shot and killed himself in their home. So you got a crazy ass cult and you got Hollywood, who's already crazy. Not all Hollywood, but again, you know, when it comes to the Satanism and the trafficking and that whole adrenochrome, and then you got this cult where you are created and brainwashed to become a domestic terrorist on anyone and who's who's opposes or exposes the cult, and your job is to if not take part, cover up on murders or people getting attacked or assaulted. Guys, we gotta, there's gonna come a time where the demise of this cult is gonna be the demise of their own, from their own leaders, their own members, because this has gone on way too long. There's way too many people suffering. And a lot of these cases don't even make it past the prosecutor. Sometimes you can't even get a police report because when cops are involved with this cult, chief officers, people in city council who know what's going on in the city and they pretend that it's not happening because they've been schmoozed, they've been brainwashed. Guys, we got an infiltration of a cancer. And right now, Lockwood should be thanking God that he's made it in the court, that he has money for lawyers. Um, and there's also been reports that Lisa Marie is no longer a part of this cult. Um, and she's spoken out supposedly against the practices. I'm gonna look into that because I haven't heard of that. And Lisa Marie Presley is a hot mess anyways. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and look into that. And again, folks, this is just another person being bullied, being attacked by fair game, domestic terrorism. And if she wants, hypothetically, if Lisa Marie Presley wanted to kill him, let's just say she's not even cocooned, but because she's a celebrity, you best believe it's going to get covered up amongst the other members. This is how sick this cult is. And with our, our, our Democrats, our radicals, peoples who are with, with the mob, and this is a mob ran cult, I'm gonna call it what it is, to let the infiltration of domestic terrorism infiltrate our societies through the many vessels of public works, police, city council, the, the list goes on and on. Let's say there's a bus driver who's a Scientologist and she knows there's someone that's gonna be entering her bus that's getting gang stopped from fair game. If they decide to kill that person on the bus, she's gonna pretend she didn't see anything. This is the danger, the cancer that's running amok in our communities and they just taken over Clearwater, Clearwater, Florida. All right guys, take care of each other and I'll see you on the next video.